There have been over 7,000 disasters in the 21st century, affecting 4 billion people across the world. Comprehensive solutions are incorporated into global frameworks and sustainable development goals, but local actors actually respond to the impacts on the ground. Disaster preparedness and management are now a grassroots to global priority. Governments and non-state actors are increasingly proactive. However, when it comes to responding to disaster events, there is often a disconnect between policies and their implementation. Bridging the gap between policy and implementation starts with local actors reflecting on their actions. The core humanitarian standard assessment tool supports them in assessing if their initiatives include the principles of humanity, impartiality, independence, and neutrality. The core humanitarian standard on quality and accountability or CHS, is nine commitments on humanitarian response. Together, they ensure a solid approach to effective and accountable humanitarian action. The Asian Preparedness Partnership developed the CHS assessment tool for all stakeholders to take ownership of their commitment to the CHS. This was done with support from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. The CHS assessment tool was also designed to be adaptable. It is tailored to the local context and language to ensure greater application of humanitarian interventions and CHS compliance. The first step is to create a profile through some basic information about the organization. Then, the nine components of the commitment align to provide a clear and compartmentalized understanding of the progress. As improvement is a collective effort, the assessment should be completed as a team. It is best to identify a few members such as board directors, leadership team members, employees, and well-informed external stakeholders. The tool is not a one-time assessment. It measures progress and provides comparable progress across the timeline of programs, as well as liquid breakdowns of responses on the type of humanitarian organization. It is recommended to use the tool regularly. Scores are based on a Likert type scale. It is a five-point bipolar response ranging from one being the least to five being the most. It is a five-level qualitative ranking system. Not all indicators will apply to every organization. In such cases, NA, or not applicable, can be selected. The system will not factor NA responses from the overall computed score. The remarks column of each answer allows users to provide detail to further improve the test. Perspective is always appreciated, so recommendations on how to further improve specific indicators can be included. A link to an example of how to use the Likert scale when answering the questions can also be found in the description of this video. It provides instructions and pictorial references for support. Here is how to interpret scores. An average score of 1 to 2 is considered a minor achievement. 2.01 to 3 indicates moderate achievement requiring priority interventions to improve their institutional and operational capacities. An average score of 3.01 to 4 is a substantial achievement. And finally, 4.01 to 5 is a comprehensive achievement. The score can be used as a gauge for prioritizing capacity building interventions to further improve the provision of humanitarian actions to people affected by disasters. Accessing the tool is just as easy as taking the test. It can be downloaded to be taken manually or completed online, which also creates a profile and subsequently monitors development. The links to both of these versions are found in the description. With the CHS assessment tool, organizations gain a clear indication of the benchmarks needed to design and implement capacity building initiatives in line with the core humanitarian standard. The tool is available to assess and guide organizations throughout the process of integrating the core humanitarian standard and should be used regularly. It offers constant support in providing the best care to people affected by disasters.